The distilling of a good spirit isn't something most people would consider. How to pair them with good food? Well, that is another matter entirely, which is why we invited our friends from Forgotten 50 Distilling to help explain. With me here is Cody Miller. He is the head distiller at Forgotten 50. Welcome. Thank you for having me, good guys. To have you. Yes. So, you know, you're distilling? We are, yes. Yeah. So, the past month, um, we've been distilling, or I've been distilling vodka and gin uh, to start um, our vodka. It is a blend of a wheat and corn base, uh, distilled 10 times and a carbon filtered. Uh, and then the gin is the same base as the vodka, uh, but we infuse 15 different botanicals into that spirit um, to give it the, the floral and the citrus and the essence of gin. Yeah. Um, and we were talking a little bit about gin. You know, a lot of people might not like gin because of its strong piney Correct. flavor. Correct, the juniper, uh, it could be overtaken, you know, um, in the spirit. Um, most people associate that one bad, you know, night with gin, mm -hmm. um, and we're trying to change that for them. Uh, this gin is what we consider more of an American style gin, where it's a little bit less juniper. Uh, what we consider is more like medium juniper coming through, um, some good piney. Uh, but not over the top, taking over your palate. Uh, there's also some very nice citrus notes of lemon and orange and grapefruit, uh, floral notes, uh, delicate floral notes of lavender and eucalyptus. Um, and then you get some spice coming from cinnamon and grains of paradise, and then kind of finishes with a little bit of licorice from the star anise. Wow, and you created this? I did, yes. That's amazing. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we talk about pairing the spirits with food. What does the gin pair so well with? So this gin, um, <clears throat> because we use lavender, we thought it would be great to actually pair with the skirt steak. Mm -hmm. uh, so our chef, Jeff Phillips, uh, actually seasons his steak with a lavender salt. Um, so immediately we thought, well, obviously those two lavender notes are gonna play with each other. Um, and there is some very nice um, spice on the steak as well that'll pair with the cinnamon coming through and the gin. Uh -huh. Okay, so. and what about the vodka? So the vodka, as far as the cocktail today, um, we started with um, a Vesper. Mm -hmm. So the Vesper is two and a half parts gin, a half part of vodka, and this Lillet, um, it's a fortified wine. Oh. Um, and the Vesper, and then we garnish it with a lemon peel. Uh, the Vesper was actually created by Ian Fleming, uh, who wrote the James Bond. James Bond, yeah. Yep, yep, I there. did not know that. Yep, so that's that's one cocktail we're showcasing today, and the other is a, just a standard uh, martini, gin martini, using two and a half ounces of our gin, a uh, half ounce of a dry vermouth, and then a little bit of orange bitters. Okay. Um, and it's just a very clean, classic martini, um, and just letting the gin and, and the vodka show, you know, their, their true flavors. So you probably would like people who maybe are not used to these craft distiller cocktails, cocktails, craft cocktails. cocktails yeah, yeah. Um, to come and try them because they're a lot different than what we're maybe the classic. Correct. At our facility, um, our bar or restaurant, we we not only can you know make the classic cocktails, mm -hmm. um, but we want to showcase these spirits and, and these craft cocktails in a completely new light. Um, our head mixologist and bar manager Tim McCall has world class talent and is really just brought a whole nother level of cocktails to our establishment. Um, and it's not just coming and tasting, but it's the experience and the education um, of the spirits and the liqueurs and the cordials that are all being used in the creation of these cocktails. All right, well, we uh, we have the cocktails ready, so. Ready to do a little going, tasting? Oh, a tasting? <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I might wait until we get the food. Let, right. let's, uh, we're gonna fire up our skirt steak when we come back and get Jeff in here Perfect. to help us with that. Stick around, Del Marva Life, we'll be right back. We talked about the luxury libations you can enjoy when you visit Forgotten 50 Distilling, but we can't forget the quality cuisine either. We're back in the Del Marva Life kitchen, joined again, or joined with executive chef Jeff Phillips from Forgotten 50 Distilling, and uh, we have our libations here, and we were talking about pairing them with the steak we're gonna make. Yes, that's and it, right. What is it, kind of steak is it? It's a skirt steak, it comes off the bottom of the cow, underneath the rib, kinda, mm -hmm. and it's what's called a flat steak, but very flavorful. It's got the intermuscular fat on the outside, but one of the best 
steaks flavorful wise, I think. Okay. There is. So you're gonna have me actually season sure. it. Sure. Okay. So, so start by pulling your olive oil on there. Okay. Just yes, oop, yes, oop, yes. It's coming out. That's fast. plenty. Uh, okay. Okay, that's plenty. And, and then, then that's our lavender salt. Ooh. And, and that is what pairs with the That's what the, pairs with the, the gin. gin drink we're making. Mm-hmm. Is that it good? just gives it a nice floral flavor. And then this is what's and this? that is the fresh ground pepper. Ooh, nice. Uh-huh. Is that enough flavoring? That's good. Okay. All right, so use your tongs, give it a little toss. Get the oil on the other side. Mm hmm. All right. All right, maybe, maybe toss it again in that oil. Oh, okay. You probably got enough I oil there, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> kind of yeah. heavy on the All oil. Right. Okay. Okay, one more time. Oh, you're looking good now. Okay. Into the pan. Into the pan. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And it's sizzling. All right. Wow. <laughs> okay, listen, you got right. a whole bunch <clears throat> of stuff over, over here in front here. of me. What am I doing? We're making chimichurri. Okay. A little Argentinian base thing here. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to start you off with chopping this parsley. Chopping the parsley. Mm -hmm. You told me something about twisting it over. Yeah, to... I, you know, twist it to make it so it, you run through it one time and chop it. Don't have to be perfect. That's good because you got the right guy on the you knife got, if you don't right need it perfect. Job. Does it matter how no, many fingers are in there? No fingers in there. Please. No fingers. Yeah, okay. Right. All right. That's good. You said, okay. Stop there. We'll put, we'll put that Throw over that here. aside. Now. And then just kind of do just a get in there thing here. Start hacking up. Just start mm -hmm. hacking. Yep. Well, look at those nice skills. I'm not a great hacker, <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay. So how long do I keep it on that side? Um, I do about two minutes on each side. Two minutes <clears> on each side. Okay. About a minute in. All right. What's what's next? Okay. So we're gonna throw that into the bowl. Toss it here. Mm -hmm. Okay. All in the bowl. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And next, you're gonna bring your garlic on. Got the garlic. And we're gonna mince the garlic. We're gonna mince, mince the garlic. The mince gar it. We're not mashing the garlic. No. Nope. We're mincing the mincing. garlic. All of this garlic. You oh. show me how to mince, because I'll bet you're a better sure. mincer than I am. Do you think sure. this is ready okay. to turn over? Uh, let's have a little peek at it. Well, you can cut them in half like that, but that's tedious. So typically, what, what they do. do. I think you're good. Go for it. So after we add the garlic, we got the rest of our ingredients here. We have salt, okay. black pepper, oregano, crushed red chili flakes, right. and vinegar and olive oil. All of each? Mm-hmm. All right. So we got the vinegar in. Add all in there. There's that. There's that. Mm-hmm. Do that there. These here. Yeah, I like it when you measure it out and tell me what to do. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. You figured this out, haven't you? I'm learning you? this gig out a little bit. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll drop this in. Yeah, whole thing in there. And then whisk the whole thing and together, you tell me? Whisk it together. All righty. Whisk away. I've been working on my whisk. It's good. It good on fish, You're good chicken, whisker. beef. Oh, this has got an amazing flavor. Ooh. Okay. I'm liking this already, and I yeah. made it, so I know what you make is even. So remind us where you are. Where do we find you? Uh, we are at uh, Old Ocean City Boulevard, 10103, and we're right next to the American Legion and the Big Tank on the split after you kind of come by the hospital. So there. good line marks for you there. So let's add a little bit more. Looks like more we got oil. a lot of parsley in yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's probably because your, your sous chef here, your cook didn't do it right. <laughs> I, okay, my other side's looking like this side. Do you okay. think it's done? Well, I'm thinking we're pretty close. Yeah. So can we go ahead and prepare the plate for where that steak's yeah, going to sure. go? What do we do? <clears throat> Well, we start with a nice big handful of arugula. Okay. So grab that, put it right on the middle in a big bunch there. A kinda, big bunch in the yeah, middle. Yeah. All right. How's that? More? Man, beautiful. Okay, good. That's beautiful. All right. Okay. So now we're ready to uh, Are we ready cut for the our steak? steak. Well, it's oh, we still on the red. Do we have time to let oh. it wait, or should we should we keep? Let's, let's have a little peek here. Yeah. Let's see what's going on down there. We're a little on the rare side, but let's say, uh, you know, a lot of people like it rare. I like it rare. Let's cut it rare. Let's cut it rare. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm hungry now. <laughs> All right. So I've been over let's here turn whiskey. this off. Okay, that's off. All right, let's move this over to here. Okay, now typically at home you want to let it rest for a couple minutes, but here on TV, right. we're not going to Wendy, we don't okay. have a couple minutes. Okay, so would you like to... No, no, no it's, no, it's all you. <laughs> you go here. Okay, and with skirt steak, the grain of the muscle runs this way. Right. So to keep it from being chewy, you don't want to cut this way. So you want to cut it. I'll cut it in half. Okay. And then I'll turn it and I'll cut against the grain. Okay, uh -huh. so here we go. You see, there's skills right there. There are, those yeah, are skills. We'd, we'd be here until like Friday. <laughs> if I ever tried to do that. Mmm, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and you gotta cut it thin. Yeah. Or else it can be, it can be chewy. We didn't know. Yeah. 
better. I think it I will overlook a little packed full of flavor. Flavor like this. Hey, I'm <laughs> telling you, this the skirt steak has enough flavor, but the chimichurri has even more. I mean, it is it is robust. I, I, you know, while you're doing that, I'm gonna I'm gonna whisk some. Yeah, whisk that. I'll just a little whisk over there. Okay, so I'm gonna take that and just put that on steak there. Steak goes like to that. the plate. Oh, Jimmy, it's Lisey did a good job. This came out really I nice. I know, huh? This right. Is, She's got this going on here. Yeah, okay, <laughs> so there's our skirt steak on there. Okay. Okay, so next, um, you get your spoon right there, Jimmy. Right. And just start, stir it up with a spoon one time and do like a couple big dollops of that right on top of the just steak. Just a couple of big dollops right, yep. on, right on top of the skirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yep. I'm never going to get hired by you, am I? <laughs> okay. And the, there we go. There okay. We go. Good. Okay. Right. There you go, Jimmy. And then this throw your uh, garnish on there. We, we oh got yeah, a, that's right. That's our watermelon is, radish. Is, is I there, have never heard of a watermelon it radish. It's the prettiest thing that we got. I'm telling that you. That is pretty. And then uh, we serve a little ciabatta from Crackadon Bakery. Okay. All yeah. Right. No, right. I'm gonna let there you do go. this the next time. I gotta get some of Lisa's steak. This was fantastic. <laughs> Thank you again for. Uh, I gotta get some of your chimichurri. Get some of that chimichurri. Mmm. <laughs> that is so good. That is good. Mm. Now maybe he'll come in and give us a visit. You're going to have to do that, huh? For the skirt steak. <laughs> yeah, Definitely. Buddy. Yes? Please. Definitely. Thank you so please. much. And tell We've your gotten friends. 50 distillery on, and in Berlin. All right. <laughs> this is the part that's difficult because we enjoy this so much. Listen, we've got more Del Marble Life coming up next.